Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. entomologist from Alberta. One of the insects that you talked about today really jumped out at me and that was the pollen beetle because um, I've never heard of it before. So what is the pollen beetle and where is it in Canada? Yeah so the pollen beetle is a little beetle and it's little like flea beetle size and it is a member of the sap beetle family so um, it's it is actually a pest in canola in many parts of the world. Um, not found in Western Canada but um, it has been found in, in uh, Atlantic Canada, Canada, which isn't a big canola growing area, but it is there and it is severely affecting canola production. So the damage would look like basically um, this, the, the crop would flower, but it would never set seed. So, so you'd, you'd go look for uh, the pods starting to form and all you get is zeros. And, and the, the, basically the beetle larvae will move from one flower to another uh, destroying the reproductive parts. Why did you choose to talk about it at today's Cannell Lab in Saskatoon? So the point of, of, the, of the insect section in Cannell Lab in Saskatoon was to show uh, producers and agrologists insects that they might not have come across before. So uh, many of the weevils that are affecting production in Alberta aren't really common in Saskatchewan yet. So a lot of the people haven't seen it. So, uh, so we showed some of the weevils that are affecting agriculture in Alberta and pollen beetle has not been found in Western Canada so therefore uh, it's a good one for people to see if they see they think something like it then to get it checked out by the provincial lab or, or an entomologist. Are you worried about seeing it in Western Canada? We don't want it in Western Canada for sure. Um, one, one nice thing about telling lots of people what to look for is then we're more likely to find it early and it may, we may be able to do an eradication if we find it before it's well established. So, so yes, we're worried about uh, insects that have these big potential for yield loss. And, and the more people that know about them, the more likely we are to do something positive ahead of trouble. So if we do see something that we suspect is a pollen beetle, what should we do? You should get it positively identified. So uh, take samples, get them to... Uh, uh, in, uh, in Saskatchewan, you'd take them to the provincial lab. Um, in, in Alberta, you'd get a hold of myself or, or another entomologist working in Alberta. So, and then we would try to do the ID and get it, get it figured out. Mm -hmm.